Hi, this is Joe and welcome back to the shop. In this video, we're going to do a, uh, a Harbor Freight uh, product test. And what this is, is uh, a drill bit sharpener uh, by Drill Master, which is a uh, Harbor Freight uh, product line. Uh, this product was $4.99. Uh, at first when I looked at it, I sort of laughed a little bit and saying, well, this is more than likely junk. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to test this and uh, we'll see how, uh, how we can do. I have some dull drill bits uh, that are, have a rolled over edge and won't drill at all. So we're going to take, read the uh, instructions. I'm going to explain that to you. And then we'll do some testing and see how, um, how this uh, $4.99 product works or doesn't work. So uh, I'm sort of interested to see how this uh, video is going to turn out. Let's go ahead and uh, set up the, uh, read the instructions, uh, set up, a, get a, a, a hand drill or a uh, electric drill, and uh, we'll do some testing. I have a half inch drill bit mounted in my electric drill, and this is a half inch steel plate um, that I have here. I've done a little bit of testing with a variety of drills. I want to find one that is pretty dull. So if I take this drill here and we'll try to run it. About the only impact I can have compared to this other hole right here is just the very tip of the drill bit is trying to make a mark there but in no way are the flutes grabbing into the metal. I've unwrapped the drill sharpener and I've read the directions here and, or the instructions and okay there if you look really closely you'll see there's uh, different size little grooves and you would insert the drill bit like this depending on the groove. Now the the range of drill bits that this uh, sharpener is supposed to support is as follows. You have a hole for 564 to 1364 or 2 to 5 millimeters. You have 730 seconds to 2164 or 5 to 8 millimeters. Uh, 1130 seconds to 1 half. 8 millimeters to 12.5 millimeters. I have a brand new drill bit here. Let's uh, stick this drill bit in the guide and uh, see how close the instructions are to actually uh, sharpening a, a drill bit. So I move the flute as it says in the directions up to the the stone. If you, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that real close but look at the edge of the uh, angle of the flute up against the stone. There's a big gap there. So let's try rotating this drill bit a little bit. That's even worse. But apparently, due to the angle of the flute, you have to rotate the drill bit a little bit and make sure that that flute is touching the edge of the stone without any gaps. Again, this is a brand new drill bit. So let's rotate it around to the other flute. And again, same thing. See the gap in there? I hope you can. If not, you'll have to trust me. Um, as turning this around, again, we reach a point to where by rotating the drill bit around, then you'll reach a spot to where the, uh, the flute is touching the stone. So, um, not exactly accurate in the instructions here. So that means I'm going to, when I insert the the drill bit into the guide, I'm going to have to make sure that my rotation angle here is at the right point and then fire up the drill and bring the tip in and then grind appropriately. So um, 
I know that's going to be, we'll do that, but that's going to be a little touchy. So let's, uh, let's get a real drill bit here. This is my dull drill bit. Let me uh, attach the drill to the end of the shaft here and uh, let's see what it's going to take to uh, to actually grind this. Let me go in here, put this in here just for just for a second. I want to check something out here. Interesting. On this drill bit, by rotating the drill around, I'm not seeing any gaps. So the difference between this drill bit, move this over here so you can see it. The an the angular geometry of the um, coated drill bit here, the brand new one, is is considerably different than the uh, the steel drill bit here. So when I'm trying to sharpen this, uh, looks like I can rotate this all the way around. Uh, so let's uh, let's set up the drill and uh, let's see what it's going to take to uh, to try to to sharpen this drill bit here. Okay, I've never used this uh, drill bit sharpener before, so we're going to do a little testing and see how it works. Okay, it did come across the very edge of that tip, um, but not quite enough. Okay, I tried slightly rotating the drill to get that face or flute of that across the stone. Let's pull that out here. About as good as I'm going to get it. Okay, we're getting a little bit better coverage across the face of the flute. I still feel a little burr across here. So uh, let's do a little bit more and then we'll do the other, the other side. As you can, I hope you can see this. As you can see, we're getting a little bit better coverage across the flute here. So, and the edge is feeling pretty sharp. So let's let's do one more. See if I can get the entire coverage of the tip here. See what we can get. Okay, we almost have complete coverage across the flute of the drill bit. Uh, the edge is not too bad, not much of a burr. I may hit it with a stone, but it's looking pretty good there. Let's go ahead and rotate and do the other flute. We've rotated the drill bit around to the other flute. And we're now going to try to do the exact same procedure on the other side. So let's try this. Okay, both edges feel pretty sharp and we have a nice shiny surface so that means the stone has touched all of the the flute portion. This is the first bit that we've used and as you can see 
the stone is starting to wear, um, it would be really nice if you could um, flip this stone around. But I would say, just by now, again, some of the other this portions of the stone, whoops, portions of the stone are going to be for the different sized uh, drill slots. So I would imagine over time it will wear evenly, but $4.99, I would imagine that that stone is not going to last uh, for too many drill bits. We'll, we'll try it here over some time, but more importantly, how is this drill going to drill now? Okay, I have the drill bit in the drill. And this is the first time I've never tried this before, so we're going to look at this together. We're not making much progress. You do have to be somewhat careful with how you feed uh, the drill into the wheel. I also noticed that as I did more grinding, the stone started to vibrate a little bit. I, I'm not sure if you saw that or not, but as that, as that uh, flute starts to even out, I noticed there was quite a bit of chatter in the stone vibrating, so it might be a, a design issue. This doesn't look pretty robust. So you can, that thing flops around a bit. What we have here is a drill gauge. Um, this drill gauge is set for the standard angle, which is 118 degrees. And then there's a scale on here from 0 to 36. This scale is used to check that the point of the drill is uh, the same. So, on either side of the flutes. So let's put the drill on here. Oh, the focusing is terrible. Let's try to focus this. Okay, so we line up the drill, we check the angle, and uh, on this side, it's not too terribly bad. The drill point is sitting at uh, looks like 10 to 11. Okay, let's rotate the drill around. And on this side, if you look at the very tip, you notice there's a little gap there. So we didn't quite um, get the proper grind angle. There's a, as you can see, there's a little gap there. And also the drill point is sitting at eight. Okay, so we're two units off. So this drill, when if you try, if this would drill, it would not drill centered. Uh, so we're slightly off. So uh, based on that information, uh, our inexpensive uh, uh, drill sharpener did not work very well. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to uh, grind this drill by hand on my belt sander and uh, we'll take a peek and see how the angles uh, come out um, after hand grinding. Here's the tip. I went and ground this by dr this drill by hand on my belt sander. I like a belt sander as opposed to a grinder. Uh, I'll put a link down in the bottom uh, of this uh, of this post. Uh, Tom Fox has a really nice video on how to easily sharpen and quickly sharpen uh, drill bits. So I'll put that link down there. He does a much better job than I do. Let's go ahead and test this uh, drill now. As you can see, it's drilling a little bit better. This uh, steel plate is extremely hard. 
Normally what I would do with a half inch drippet is I would use a smaller drippet to create a pilot hole. Uh, but as you can see it is cutting. Sharpening by hand is a far better solution. The uh, Arbor Freight drill grinder has some inaccuracies in the uh, the side angles or the the combined angles to reach 118 degrees uh, and also the tip distance uh, varied from one side of the flute to the other side of the flute so over all in all I don't think the Harbor Freight drill grinder or drill sharpener is a very good purchase um, I will continue to play around with it but uh, hope you enjoyed the video any comments uh, if you've had a different experience uh, let me know and uh, we'll see you next time